एंटीकोलाइन एसरेज पॉइजनिंग और ऑर्गेनोफॉस्फोरस पॉइजनिंग और ओपी पॉइजनिंग हाय डॉक्टर सैनाज मलिक हियर एंड वेलकम टू फार्माकोमिनिया इंट्रोडक्शन एंटीकोलाइन एसरेज आर इजीली अवेलेबल एंड एक्सटेंसिवली यूज एज एग्रीकल्चर एंड हाउस होल्ड इंसेक्टिसाइडल accidentally as well as suicidal or homicidal poisoning can are common sign and symptom of the op poisoning are in eye irritation of eye pinpoint pupil is the diagnostic picture of the organophosphorus poisoning bearing of vision secretion like lacrimation salivation sweating copious tracheobronchial secretion in lung bronchospasm can occur due to spasm of the smooth muscle of the trachea and breathlessness can occur in GIT colic and involuntary defecation can occur due to relaxation of the sphincter and contraction of the smooth muscle of the intestine and in bladder urination can occur due to relaxation of the sphincter and contraction of the detrusor muscle in CVS fall in blood pressure tachycardia or bradycardia can occur and cardiac arrhythmia can occur and cardiac collapse can occur due to organophosphorus poisoning. In muscle, muscular fasciculation, weakness and respiratory paralysis can occur. CNS irritability, disorientation, unsteadiness, tremor, ataxia, convulsion, coma and death can occur due to excess polymergic stimulus. Death is generally due to respiratory failure. So these are the symptoms of the cholinergic toxicity, sweating, lacrimation, running nose, vomiting, pinpoint pupil, clothing from the mouth and salivation and bronchorea and bradycardia can occur urination diarrhea these all are sign and symptom of the anticholine esterase poisoning so now what will be the line of management in first of all termination of the further exposure of the poisoning fresh air washing of the skin and mucous membrane with soap and water and gastric lavage according to date if patient has ingested the uh, organophosphorus then we have to do gastric lavage maintain patent airway and positive pressure respiratory if it is required or it is failing supportive measure like maintaining blood pressure hydration and control convulsion with judicious use of the diazepam uh, in op poisoning there is hyperactivity of the muscarinic as well as nicotinic receptor so Muscarinic receptor can be inhibited by atropine. It is highly effective in counteracting the muscarinic symptom, but higher doses are required to counteract the central effect. 2 mg intravenous repeated every 10 minutes till dryness of mouth or all sign of atropinization can appear. Up to 200 mg has been administered in a day. Continuous treatment with maintenance dose may be required for one to two weeks. Specific treatment is the choline esterase reactivator. This is the pralidoxam 500 mg in 20 ml infusion. It is injected intravenously slowly in a dose of one to two gram. Another regimen is 30 mg per kg IV loading dose followed by 8 to 10 mg per kg per hour continuous IV infusion till recovery. This is choline esterase enzyme. This is choline esterase enzyme and this is anionic site and this is esterase Here in esteric site organophosphorus is bind and anionic site is free. Uh, free. So whenever we uh, introduce pralidoxime, pralidoxime bind with this anionic site and act with the phosphorus and it diffuse out this phosphorus from the choline esterase enzyme. And now enzyme is free and active to react with acetylcholine. Specific treatment with pralidoxime 
cause more mark reactivation of the skeletal muscle colloid esterase than the autonomic site and not at all in the cns because it does not penetrate blood brain barrier treatment, treatment should be started as early as possible within few hours because before phosphorylated uh, enzyme has undergone aging and become resistance to hydrolysis dose may be repeated according to need maximum 12 g in first 24 hour can be given thank you for watching the video